Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're going to look at Lock, Stock, and Riot from Peter McKinnon. This was a DVD release that he put out in 2013. It was all shot in Toronto, Canada, um, probably in uh, Peter's flat, his house, and then maybe downstairs in his parking garage as well. What are you going to find on the inside? Uh, inside, you're going to find six pieces of magic. Uh, they all come in different forms. You're going to have routines, slides, uh, flourishes. You're going to see magic with finger rings, magic with neckties, and of course, playing cards. All right, so what are some of the tricks uh, on the DVD? Uh, the first one is uh, Pandora, which is a really cool card to box, to outside of box, to impossible location. Uh, it's pretty neat. So you actually don't even need the deck at all. It's just a single card. Spectator can select any card they want. Um, you place it in the box, shake it, they can still hear it inside, and then you can magically make it appear from someplace else. So it leaves the box, goes someplace cool. Uh, Peter's gonna show you how to do it to your pocket how to do it to your hat, and he's gonna teach you a gimmickless, gimmicked box version. I know that sounds crazy, but it's true. Next up is Pantheon, which is a very beautiful ring vanish. Most of us wear uh, rings already in one form or another, and sometimes people walk up to you and say, hey, show me a magic trick. With Pantheon, you'd be able to take your ring and magically make it vanish. Uh, right in front of their eyes in a really beautiful and clean way. It's a trick that you can always have on you, ready to go, Pantheon from Peter McKinnon. Next up is a trick called Revelator, which is really more of a flourish, kind of more of a deck production from a gambler's cop. Um, it's a pretty neat little ditty, I'll call it. Um, I'm not really good with Gambler's Cop, so uh, that wasn't something that um, I would be able to do. But maybe uh, you're good with deck manipulation or flourishing. It's a really eye-catching deck production. Next up, Peter teaches you Dragonfly 2.0. Uh, there is a live uh, production of this downstairs in the parking garage that he does alongside Bobby Mata, which is pretty cool. And uh, I think out of all the effects on here, Dragonfly 2.0 is probably my favorite because it's an actual working trick with a routine. It's a really beautiful transposition effect, kind of almost like a two-card money, kind of like an almost where's the ace kind of trick, where you kind of make the spectator follow the trick, saying where is this card, where is this card, and you magically make the two cards transpose. Uh, it's really beautiful, really clean. And then next, Peter teaches you suit up. It is a appearing tie trick. So uh, using both his tie and his hat, Peter makes a tie magically appear already knotted around your neck. And then lastly, Peter's going to teach you his favorite flourish, a flourish he calls breakdown. Breakdown is probably his most popular flourish. You've probably seen it in so many of the different Illusionist trailers. Uh, Peter's going to break it down for you and give you everything you need to know. All right, so what are the positives to Lock, Stock, and Riot? Uh, positives are it's beautifully shot. Uh, he's a photographer, so why wouldn't it be beautifully shot? Um, I think Peter has an eye for this kind of thing, and he knows what it takes to make a quality product. Uh, you got two main shots. You got a still uh, mounted camera shot um, that's just focused on him sitting on a couch. Then you have a close-up shot that is kind of like a side view of his table whenever you need a close-up shot. Uh, the music is a really nice addition too. It's kind of that music that stays in the background. It's pretty, but it's not annoying that after time it doesn't start to wear on your nerves. So, hey, sometimes music can be detrimental to a DVD. And of course, who doesn't love a good bowler hat? Uh, a lot of these tricks on here are definitely workers. I don't know that you'd be the kind of person that would use all of them. I think what Peter has done is he's given you a wide kind of motley crew of various thoughts and brain droppings, and he's allowing you to kind of like pick through them and find your favorites. And so this is kind of like a best of Peter McKinnon DVD set. And so um, maybe use this review to determine if it's right for you. Negatives, all right, what are the negatives to Lock, Stock, and Riot? Uh, my only negative was there was just a couple of times where he told a joke and then someone thought it would be funny to throw in a rim shot sound effect. It just kind of pulled me out of the moment for a second and I just had to you know, come back in. It, it's partially due to Peter McKinnon's just wacky sense of humor. He's a very funny guy, but I don't know that I needed the rim shot and that's just a stupid aside and a dumb negative, but that's all I got. Is it worth your money? Uh, this DVD currently, right now, is $10. So the DVD, a physical DVD, is 10 bucks and you get six tricks. 
Come on, that's totally worth your money. It's an hour and 23 minutes long of solid, hard-hitting magic. Definitely worth it. Head on down to illusionist.com and pick it up. Who would like this? Who would like this? Fans of Peter McKinnon, fans of Illusionist, people that are, are kind of like his style that incorporate both flourishing and kookiness and card tricks kind of all mixed together, uh, I think would definitely like Lock, Stock and Riot from Peter McKinnon. All right, so that is my review for Lock, Stock and Riot from Peter McKinnon. And of course, if you would like to order more cutting edge magic, you can always find it at illusionist.com. Thanks, bye.